gate right setup. You will need a gate right, a computer with gate right software on it, and a large enough space with access to an outlet to plug the gate right in. Roll out the gate right so it lays as flat and as straight as possible. Plug the connecting pieces into the gate right and the computer and make sure to plug the gate right into the wall. Make sure that the computer is on and the gate right software is open and running. Procedure. After logging on to gate right, click the box in the top left corner labeled new patient. A pop-up will appear asking if you want to register a new patient. Click yes. This will take you to a screen full of boxes to fill out, but we only need to fill out three. For the patient's first and last name, repeat the OASIS code that the participant has been assigned. Next, fill out the participant's age and then gender with an M for male and an F for female. Click Save. This will take you to another screen with a bunch of blank boxes again, only this time they will say things like step time, cycle time, step length, etc. If the participant is using a gate aid like a walker, you will need to click on Patterns in brackets Feet which is located up in the top left hand corner beside the file. This will give you a drop down list and you can select the one that includes the gate aid your participant is using. For example, if the participant is using a cane, click on one, cane or crutch, or four leg walker. If the participant is using a walker, you will want to click three, complex walker. If the participant is not using a gate aid, you will want it to be set to two, heel toe gap, in brackets toe in slash out. Explain to the participant that this mat is full of sensors that will give us a better idea of how they walk. Instruct them that you want them to walk down the mat at their usual pace and usual speed, just as if they were walking down the street to go to the store. Tell them to use the black line running down the middle of the gate right as a guide to keep them away from the raised gray sensors running down the right side of the mat. Before the participant steps onto the mat, you will need to click Start Walk which will take you to another screen with a blue box where a series of words will appear. When the prompt Begin Walking appears, instruct the participant to walk down the gate right all the way off the end again and wait there for you to reset the computer. As the participant walks down the gate right mat, their footprints should appear on the computer above the blue box. Once the participant has finished the walk, you will see the gate right program process the walk and bring you to another screen displaying all of their footprints. The program will ask you to verify if the footfalls have been correctly identified. All of the left feet should be shown in green and all of the right feet should be displayed in pink. If all of the footfalls have been correctly identified, click the box in the bottom left corner saying accept as shown. Once you click accept as shown or the suspend walk for processing later, you will be taken back to the earlier screen where you will click the save button. If the footprints need to be reversed, click the box in the lower left of the screen saying reverse left slash right and then click retry identification. Sometimes an orange error bar will appear below the footprints. If this occurs during data collection, click the box saying suspend walk for processing later. We will address how to fix these errors in another video called gate right troubleshooting. On the screen, you will also want to check to make sure the black line you see running from the two black points lies within one footprint. If the black line stretches from one footprint to another, you will also need to press suspend walk for processing later. Refer to the troubleshooting video for how to fix this issue. Once you have saved your walk, you will now be able to click the start walk button again and repeat the previous process until you have four walks saved. Once you have saved your four walks, Click on the box saying test with a blue arrow pointing down, located at the top of the page, close to the middle. This will cause a drop down list of all your saved walks to appear. If you had to suspend any of your walks, these will also appear with an SUS shown beside it instead of a WLK. Once all of your suspended walks are fixed, check out the troubleshooting video for advice on how to fix these. The drop down menu of all your trials should just have WLK shown beside them, and you can now make a test. To do this, you start by clicking on any walk that you want to include in the test. A pop-up shall appear asking, this walk is not part of any test. Do you want to include this walk in a test? Click yes. Instead of having WLK shown beside your walk, you will now see a number one. This is how you know it is now part of a test. 
Click on another one of your walks that has a WLK beside it. The same pop-up message will appear asking if you want to include it in a test. This time, when you say yes, it will take you to another screen. Here you can add this walk to your test by either clicking the box saying add to latest test or by clicking on the earlier walk with the one shown beside it found in the darker gray box on the right. When you click on either of these options, another pop-up will appear asking if you want to include this walk as part of that test. Click yes again. Now, when the test drop-down list appears, there should only be two walks listed and one test with a one beside it. Repeat the previous step until all the walks have been included in the same test. Now the drop-down menu should consist only of one test. Click on the test and the same screen as when data collection was occurring should come up, only this time no footprints will be displayed and in the dark gray box on the left, you should see your four walks and the time they were completed listed. What including all four walks in a test has done is average out all of the values for the parameters like step time, cycle time, etc. from all of the four walks. We now want to export this data. We can do this by clicking on File found in the uppermost left hand corner and then clicking on Export Data to ASC to File from the drop down list. This will take you to a page listing all of the patient data fields, gate rate test field summary, and detailed fields about the individual footballs. Click Select All or Above All Three Columns before clicking X Export Excel Data, which is the fifth button down from the top on the right side of the screen. This will bring you to another page where it will say Exporting Excel Data. Once it finishes loading, click on the Open Excel box located on the top right just under Test. This will open the data in Excel where you will want to go to File and then save the data as an Excel workbook .xlsx and save it under the participants assigned code. Switch back into GateRate, where you will click on the back button located beside Open Excel. Next, press the exit button, where and then you will find yourself back at the original screen. You can now set up a new participant again by clicking on the button second from the left at the top with a colorful little character of what looks like three people, which will take you then to a drop down list of all of the participants ever saved in GateRate. Where at the top of the list, you will be able to click on New Participant and then repeat all earlier steps.